Yes, sir, man. Another day, another build on NBA 2K25. Well, we got an interesting name today. As y'all see, bro, the two-way catch-and-shoot threat. Crazy name that I found last night, or actually a little bit this morning, like 4 or 5 a.m. or whatever, just on here trying to put build videos together. And I came up with the two-way catch-and-shoot threat. If I was to make a lockdown build, this is what I would make. So let's get into it. Y'all been showing love to the build videos, man. So make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if you're new. Drop a like on the video. Check out the My Career series. And you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. But we're going at the small forward position. 6'6 six, six height. 245 pounds on the weight. And a 7'1 wingspan. Now, before you say 245 is too heavy... You know what I'm saying? We can max this out at a 92 speed and an 86 agility, being 245 pounds. So let's get to the most important things on a lockdown build, man. We are going perimeter defense. We are going 97 on the perimeter defense. And I'm going to show y'all why. You can see the badges popping up on the side, but I'm actually trying to change how that looks. There we go. Then for steel, we're going to go 91 steel rating. We're going to go 76 on block. And then my interior is going to go to a 60. Now let me show you why. Paint patroller, we're only going to get it on bronze. The next upgrade gray is at silver and you need an 84 block to get it at silver anyway we're not going to get an 84 block because we cap out at 78 but what we are going to do is use these extra two points to get the high flying denier up but i guess we'll put up our physicals real quick because our physicals matter on this lockdown build so you can see exactly what's going on give me an 83 strength and then vertical i'm only going to go to a 60 all right so back to the defense high flying denier we get it on bronze with a 78 block. Our 91 steel rating gives us glove on gold, and then it gives us interceptor on Hall of Fame. Now, I haven't been seeing too many people get ripped like on ball steals. I know it's happening a little bit, but I mean, the amount that is happening is okay. It's not OD like 2K24, but interceptor goes to Hall of Fame at a 94 steal. But perimeter defense, when you get it to 99, you get legend challenger, legend on ball menace, legend pick dodger, and I think legend off ball pest you can get it if you went 98. But we're gonna use two cap breakers on this build to get all of these on legend, and then you'll have three cap breakers left that you can put here on interceptor to make it hall of fame. And then if you use a max plus one, now you got legend interceptor with all of these legend badges, and that's how the lock build is starting off, and it's looking really good. So we're gonna go 60 on the D board. Of course, we gotta get bronze rebound chaser. Now, for our agility, we put it up at 86 because 85, I think 85 gave us something that we didn't need. Or like 85 was a badge. Like the difference between a, a, a specific badge, I think. Let me see what lockdown badge was that. 85 might have been. Yeah, so on ball menace, you need a 99 perimeter and an 86 agility to get this on legend. So we just went on ahead and put the agility at 86. So when we use cap breakers, we don't have to use one on our agility to get the legend on ball menace. Now speed with ball, we're going with a 70. Ball handle, we're going with a 70 and pass accuracy i'm gonna go with a 70 now you can mix this around but i was playing on my irl build the other day and i think i got a 70 pass accuracy on that build so 70 pass act online is pretty decent even though the lanes are crazy i felt pretty decent i didn't want to go anything lower just because i don't trust it i feel like 60 and 65 is a little too slow if we find out that it's not then of course we can remake this build ball handle though being a 70 i mean it only it's only right depending on if you want to you know got to catch it out the corner or if you want to break and the center can outlet it to you for you to go get a dunk or something like that so that's why we did that now let's talk about our shooting because y'all saw that catch and shoot threat y'all probably wonder how we got catch and shoot threat we're putting our midi at 89 and we're putting our three ball at an 83. 83 three ball gives us limitless range on bronze. And then we also got a gold set shot specialist with the 89 midi. If we went 88, we get it on silver, but I like it right here on gold. Shifty shooter, I mean, you probably not dribbling off the dribble too much with a lockdown build or shooting off the dribble. Dead eye, you definitely could use, you know what I'm saying, dead eye to shoot people eyelids out who are late to close out to you in the corner. And then for free throw, we're only gonna go with an 83 free throw. I think that's pretty decent no matter what game mode you actually play. Now, let's talk about our dunk. Standing dunk, I'm going 72 on a standing dunk. And as you see, that maxes out our build. The 72 on a standing dunk is so we can get rise up on bronze. Because when you, you know what I'm saying, cutting back door, you're either gonna get the catch and shoot three on a lock or you're gonna be able to cut back door you get rise up on bronze you can dunk it pretty fast and this should give you all of the standing dunk animations because of the vertical you need the 60 vertical for the rise up yeah you need the 60 vertical for the rise up you need a 62 vertical and the 81 standing dunk for silver we can't get that so we're good with bronze driving dunk i mean you get a bronze aerial wizard which is cool you can go get you some tip dunks 
if i mean if it permits maybe a 62 driving dunk might be a little low or if you do get a tip dunk it's gonna be something simple you don't really care about driving layup and you only got close shot just in case you don't get a dunk you can still make a layup but this overall is the build so like i said with the first five cap breakers we'll put two right here on perimeter defense all of this stuff goes to legend then you'll put the other three on steel and now you got a hall of fame interceptor and then if you max plus one interceptor now you got legend interceptor and you're doing everything that you need to do as a lockdown i don't think you would put max plus one anywhere else on your build i mean unless you want to get crazy and put max plus one on limitless range and get it on silver or you know what i'm saying put it on dead eye but i think you should be cool with a silver and a bronze right here everything else just doesn't make sense so yeah max plus one on interceptor to make that legend after we put the cap breakers on and get hall of fame interceptor so yeah i like the build y'all let me know what y'all think right now and then like i said you read it in the title you seen it at the beginning of the video we get og and anobi ron artest lou dort and the shades come out to be two-way catch and shoot threat it's a big ass two-way catch and shoot threat i'm not gonna lie to y'all get your body morphing and all that good stuff going but yeah two-way catch and shoot threat and this is the second time i've done this where i've made a build and i forgot to show y'all the takeovers that you qualify for but let's see as a lockdown what takeovers can we get we get glue which puts up perimeter defense and steel so that's plus seven. Oh, and strength plus seven so perimeter defense steel and strength you get plus seven make it rain puts up your midi and your three mira you can get a plus 15 on perimeter defense and i know 2k likes to say that the attributes don't go past 100 because we can't see it but they've also said in the past that like takeover gives you boost the boost that you buy gives you boost etc etc so imagine putting on two on perimeter defense you got a 99 perimeter defense and then you add plus 15 perimeter defense we talking 100 and 14 perimeter defense you know what i'm saying with legend badges is pretty crazy you know what i'm saying midi man what is this nuisance perimeter defense agility and strength so you'll end up having a 93 agility if you use that pest is perimeter defense still in agility so somebody will probably get pest unless they want to get pickpocket but you get eight perimeter defense eight steel i mean the defensive badges look decent spot up shooter oh, oh you get plus 10 on three pointer at level five so now you're talking about a 93 three ball if you don't want to use anything for like the defensive stuff the claw plus 15 steel yeah three point shot perimeter defense agility the lock takeovers are actually pretty good i'm not i'm not gonna lie to you so yeah i'm liking the build man two-way catch and shoot threat if i was to make a lockdown build i would probably make this build i don't know if i'm gonna make a lock though because i play with locks and i've never really played lock too much but if they want me to if it's something y'all want to see i'll make one so hope y'all enjoyed the build man again subscribe drop a like and i'll see you in the next one